hi in this bonus chapter i will explain you 11 awesome tricks in excel number one usually we will add some text in the comment box however we can also add the picture to the comment box to add the picture to the comment box you can select the comment edit comment and select that comment right click on that format comment you can select colors and lines click on colors go to fill effect in this picture select picture from a file and now you can select this picture click ok ok yes now you can see this picture in comment box number two you can link a cell value to a shape to show your results beautifully in this shape to do that you can insert any shape select that shape and go to formula bar start with equals and select the cell which you want to link that to the shape and press enter now you can format this shape whenever you change the number shape value also changes accordingly number three in case if you are analyzing a large data and if you want to filter on a particular cell which you have selected you may have to select this entire data and then apply filter and then select this data put that in this filter like this you will have to filter this data to avoid all these tasks you can add the auto filter command in the quick access toolbar you can select all commands here and you can add auto filter if you want to filter for a selected cell you can select this cell and click on filter this will save you a lot of time number four the default comment shape is a rectangle however you can change the comment shape to do that you can select the comment box and you can go to change shape if this is not added in the quick access toolbar you can go to the more commands and you can add this change shape you can add this here I have already added and you can change the shape of this comment box number five in case if you have the serial number in your table and you have entered this manually by drag and drop or by making this plus one in such case if you add one row or if you delete one row the serial number will change and i have seen many such errors in the reports to avoid such error we can use row function this will basically return the row number of that cell and we can reduce the starting row number that is one two three i can drag this formula to all these cells yes in case if you remove any row 
you can see it will automatically change in other cells similarly if you add one row you can just copy this formula to next row that's how you can avoid the errors number six in case if you are working on a large excel file with multiple sheets and if you change the data in this sheet the details are updated in other sheets also and you want to check the result when you change the info data in this sheet with reference to some other sheet every time you may have to move from this sheet to the other sheet to check the result to avoid this you can add the watch window from formula tab and to this watch window you can add the cell reference of different sheet like this so whenever you make the changes in this sheet the corresponding changes which happens in the other sheet will be updated in this watch window so this will save your time for moving from this sheet to the other sheet number seven normally we use the sort option for sorting top to bottom however we can also sort from left to right in case if we want to sort left to right we can select the table and we can go to custom sort here we have an option button click on that and select sort left to right and click ok now you will see row number instead of column select row 3 click ok yes now it will sort from left to right number 8 in case if you want to transpose the data from vertical to horizontal there are different ways to do that the first method is you can copy this and at the time of paste you can go to paste special and click on transpose however in this method it will not have any link between this data and the original data in case if you want to keep the link between these two data then you can select this range and use the transpose function to do this transpose select this array close the bracket and this is an array formula that's therefore we have to press ctrl shift and enter so it will automatically update the formula in the entire range if you change the data in this it will be automatically updated horizontally number nine normally in excel sheet you will see the formula results however in case if you want to see the formula itself instead of the results you can go to file options advanced options display options for this worksheet and select show formulas in cell instead of their calculated results now you can see it will show the formula itself instead of the results number 10 in case if you work on a large file which has got many sheets it may be difficult for you to move from one sheet to another for easy movement from one sheet to another sheet you can go to this place and right click here it will open up one small window which will show all active sheets in this workbook you can select any sheet and click ok so it will return to that particular sheet number 11 if you want to send this excel file in pdf format to someone in email first you may convert this into pdf file and then send this through email instead of doing that the excel provides 
option to send this excel file in pdf format directly to do that you can go to share email and you can click here it will directly convert this file into a pdf file and it will attach that pdf file outlook email